The monarch butterfly life cycle. Milkweed. Milkweed is the plant that monarch butterflies lay their eggs on. When the eggs hatch, that is what they eat. Monarch butterfly adults also drink the nectar from the flowers that the milkweed plant has. When we break a leaf from the stem, you'll notice this milky substance that comes out from it. That's where the plant gets its name, milkweed. The caterpillar stage. The caterpillars grow a lot during this stage, which lasts about 10 to 14 days. Here you can see a close-up look at how the caterpillar gets around. Hanging around upside down is no big deal if you're a caterpillar. Caterpillars have antenna on the front and back ends of their bodies. Those beautiful stripes they have aren't just for show. They're to let predators know that it's not a good idea to eat them. That milky substance that comes out of the milkweed plant is actually poisonous. Since the caterpillars only eat milkweed, it makes them poisonous to any predator that might want to eat them. Just like you, caterpillars need food and water to live and grow. They do a lot of growing in a very short period of time, so that means they need to do a lot of eating. When a caterpillar becomes too big for its skin, it sheds or molts it. Once it molts it, it will actually eat it before continuing to eat more milkweed. This caterpillar has just finished molting. That dark material is its old skin. Since caterpillars do a lot of eating, they also produce a lot of waste. You can see caterpillar droppings on the paper towel below. Caterpillars will continue to eat and eat and end up shedding four more times. Each one of these is called an instar. They have five instars total. The chrysalis stage. This stage lasts 10 to 14 days. When the caterpillar is ready, it'll secure itself a spot by spinning a silky thread from which to hang on. It will then hang upside down and take the shape of a letter J. When you see that the antennas have become thinned out and crimped, you'll know that the process of becoming a chrysalis is about to begin. If you look closely, you'll see that something is beginning to occur under its skin. The caterpillar will begin to straighten out its J shape just before the transformation begins. This process takes about five minutes, so I'm gonna speed up the film to four times faster. Although it was difficult for us to see, the transformation already occurred and the caterpillar has already built a chrysalis around itself and is now ready to emerge from its skin. You can see this yellowish green chrysalis pushing its way out of the caterpillar's old skin.
caterpillar will continue to wriggle and push the old skin up until it can squirm around and let it drop to the ground. Here's what it looks like once it's dropped off. In the next part of this phase, the once soft chrysalis begins to harden. When the time is approaching for the butterfly to emerge, you will see a change in the chrysalis. The skin will become more and more translucent, and the monarch butterfly beneath will become more and more apparent. And finally, it's ready to emerge. Butterfly emerges. The following video is also in fast motion. The entire process takes about an hour. Once the butterfly has emerged from the chrysalis, it needs to pump blood and fluids out of its abdomen and into its wings. Here we can watch how this process occurs. During this process, the butterfly releases some fluids onto the paper towel below. Here we can see this process again at 20 times the speed. Now the monarch butterfly will slowly open and shut its wings to dry them. Now it's ready to fly off in search of nectar and a mate. You can do your part to help the monarch butterflies by planting milkweed in your yard. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the monarch butterfly cycle.